Harmony amidst hatred. Tonight, Nightline goes inside the city of Sarajevo, where ethnic tolerance survives in the face of ethnic hate. And we profile rugby's Chancellor of the Exchequer, a true mover and shaker. Oh, we've raised about uh, pretty close to half a million. Nightline with Janet Wilson and Neil Walker. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Most of you watching tonight are not worried about staying alive. In Sarajevo, it's a different story. 12,000 people have died in the city since the war began last year. And with the United Nations agreeing that airstrikes can be used in Bosnia, more bloodshed may lie ahead. Still, the people of Sarajevo continue to live, not just exist. Serbs, Croats and Muslims there are determined to stay neighbours and family, even though surrounded by ethnic hatred and violence. Sarajevo is determined to stay civilised. The special report from Nightline's correspondent, Dave Marash. And the people of Sarajevo have been waiting for a long time. The war began in April 1992. Well, there's more to come on Nightline, National News and Sport with Neil Walker. With four escaped prisoners still on the run tonight, the row over prison security is not likely to die down quickly. Eight days ago, three prisoners broke out of Mount Eden. Two are still free. And an Auckland District Court judge has been appointed to inquire into last night's breakout by two prisoners from Auckland's maximum security jail at Paremo Remo. The pair are both regarded as dangerous. But prison officers say the level of staffing in our prisons is dangerous too. Now sport with Neil. Coming up after the break on Sportsline, Brett Stephen has had a tough day on court. Philip Tato Dungi is back in the swing at the Amateurs in Canada. And the world decathlon champ is hoping to pole vault into a brand new Mercedes Benz. A return to Canada has world amateur champion Philip Tatorangi back in the golfing groove. The Aucklander, who won the world championship in Vancouver last year, has fired a sizzling first round 65 to lead the Canadian amateur in Victoria by two shots. Another Kiwi, Rowan Welsh, is second. Meanwhile, one of Tatorangi's former teammate Steve Scarhill is seven shots off the pace at the halfway stage of a professional tournament in Malaysia. Look, if Fats has his way, he'll be around another 20 years at least. I bet That's too. That's sports line for tonight, Janet. Thanks, Neil. Well, stay with us just ahead Friday's weather, and sorry, it's bad news. Well, a few moist areas around the country today as rain fell in many places. By lunchtime on Friday, a front moves onto the south of the country with a southwest flow behind it. That'll bring a few showers to the east coast of the North Island and Northland. So Whangarei and Auckland will see showery, showery periods tomorrow with southwesterlies. The rain extends further south to Hamilton and Tauranga. Rotorua will see more of that rain, as will New Plymouth. On the east coast, Gisborne, Napier and Hastings will be mainly fine. Morning showers are the order of the day for Palmerston North, while the capital will also have a few showers. Across the gutter and Nelson will have a few showers around noon, while in Christchurch the rain will fall in the morning. Dunedin too will have morning showers, while rain is also predicted for Invercargill. That's Nightline for Thursday. Thanks for your company. Join John Hawksby and the three national news team tomorrow at six. I'm Janet Wilson. Good evening.